I'm Jared Haynes, and this is Rogue Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about the Sitka Mountain Optics Harness. So this retails for $149, and this is going to be a complete optics and accessories package uh, that you can purchase from Sitka. So I'm going to tell you I've tried a bunch of different bino harness setups in the past. Uh, I own a few of them, and I'll show those to you. And so far, out of all the ones I've tried and you know researched, this is the absolute best system that you can buy on the market. Now the price kind of sits somewhere in between. Uh, it's not the most expensive out there and it's definitely not the cheapest, uh, but when you see how much accessories and the fit and the way that this works, uh, I think that it's a pretty fair price. Now you can get it in three different colors. Um, you can get it in their green subalpine, you can get it in the Optifade, and then you can get it in this kind of a OD green sagebrushy kind of color that I chose to go with. That way it matches any camo that I wear or any plain color um, that I'm wearing. It fits right in with that. Now when we get into the bino harness itself, um, you've got two pouches that are removable. So there's Molly over here on the sides and you're able to just quickly disconnect both bottom pieces of the Molly and then you can slip it up and out. So there's your back um, section right here and that back piece will hook right onto here and you can go ahead and just pop it out. Now if you want to put it back on, just slide it through, uh, pull these out, slide down, slide down and then reach in there, lock it and that's now locked on both sides. This isn't going anywhere. You can do that with both sides. You can pop them off pop them on which definitely makes the um, setup a lot lighter if you want to take it off uh, if you have your hands here you know obviously it's kind of right by where your arms are but here's the big advantage so I do a lot of filming and I use my cell phone for a lot of filming and when I'm up hunting I don't want it stuffed away in a pocket where it's hard to get to and I also don't want it getting wet so you've got on this side I keep a bino adapter so I can hook that to my um, tripod I keep my phone cam and then I keep a little rain cover and then my cell phone sits right down in this pocket and it's totally protected. It's a hard shell up here on top. Um, there's a little thing up in front that you could put stuff on this side. I just don't have anything to put in there. Over here I've got a elk call. I've got, pop this off here, my range finder. Then I ran a little bungee cord to that. Now up here on the top, if I step forward, you're gonna see that um, I have these little connects. These run down to your bino harness on the sides of it. Um, I don't like using those, and so they're just not on here, but you do get those in the package. Now on the front of this, you've got a magnet that holds this up out of the way, and there's these two uh, little spots here where you can pull this elastic out and hook it down depending on the size of your binoculars. Now the nice thing about having this flip up and magnetize but not be all the way rolled back is when I'm, you know, if I'm walking around, I don't want to have to have this locked down, but I want to make sure that I'm not getting debris on the top. I can, you know, this covers, if you look right up here, it's covering the top of my eyepieces. So I'm not getting any rain, debris, any of that kind of stuff down in there. Then you can easily one-handed roll this back, reach in and pull your optics up, or you know, two-handed if for some reason you have to use one hand though, it does work. Uh, inside here, there's a cleaning cloth that is attached to a little bungee and it's got a little um, pocket on the inside there that you know it kind of stows away in. Uh, this whole thing has a very nice hard shell feel to it, um, so it stays sturdy on your chest, it's not bagging down, it's not moving. Um, and then over on each side of the bino harness, you've got a, I don't know that I would call this molly, but it's you know a hard piece that you could hook something to if you needed to connect something up here. And then I keep on the left side my earplugs, um, and then on the right side, I have a mouth reed for you know cow calling, bugling, or trying to stop a deer if I decide to use that. Now, all this is a better system than any other binocular uh, harness setup that I've found. But where it really jumps above is up here in the shoulder straps. So I'm gonna go ahead and come up here. 
So the reason that this harness setup is the best is because when it comes up over your shoulders, um, you're gonna see that you've got that X that crosses right across the you know, shoulder blades, top of your back, but you can adjust that perfectly because of that sliding loop that's on there so that it fits right around your shoulder blade. It, it, you know, if you have a wider shoulder um, or narrower shoulders, it can adjust to that, which most systems are pretty much set up where that um, X right where they cross is solid. So you're kind of stuck with whatever angle it comes with. This, you can adjust that. And then on top of that, they have the one that goes around down here, lower, uh, low back area that keeps everything tight on the bottom of your bino harness. And that makes a really big difference for keeping it uh, tight to your body. You can lay down, get up, roll over. Uh, it's not bouncing around. Now here's where the backpack, you would think being so wide that this would cause an issue um, with your straps, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook my hip belt on here, get that tight. You can run these straps over top or under, it's up to you, I run them over top. Um, but if you look here, these come right down, they don't make contact uh, on this side, running down, and there's no contact over here. It runs right behind. I can easily just pop this open, get whatever I need out, um, close it back up again. So it's easy, one-handed manipulation. The backpack fits well with it. I've got full adjustments here, the shoulder straps, if I need to you know, change the way that they are with a load on here, you know, it's not changing anything. So this works, like I said, you would think that being so wide across your chest, but it fits right down perfect to where the straps are running out uh, and it doesn't interfere with the backpack at all. And then you don't have all that weight on your back, you know, all this stuff that would have to be in your backpack, you gotta take it off to get to, is now just right here up front. Um, it frees up this little gear pouch for um, other things, I don't have to put my phone in here. This is not waterproof. This top piece is, there's like a hard piece of plastic kind of a thing up here. So that beads water off really well. Uh, I've yet to have my phone get damp even sitting inside of here. Um, the outside cloth material can soak up a tiny bit of water, but it's uh, beads for quite a while. It has a good DWR on here. Now here's two different bino setups that I just have on hand. Um, I've tried Alaskan Guide Creations, S4 Tech, just the generic neck straps, um, marsupial gear, and a few others. And then I know quite a few people that have a, you know different brands of bino harnesses. And most all of them are pretty much the same. Uh, you know, they have some sort of attachment system here on the side, and then where you can add accessories like this is right off of you know your actual side straps well these straps are not very big if you look here um, and so you don't really get a good purchase on your body uh, and i find that these really rock around a lot as we're on this if i want to run them they're solid i know they're there they're not moving uh, they're not banging around on my side not flopping around like this so i originally went with and i'll show you this kuyu one right here and the Kuyu setup um, was good, but here's the couple problems that I found with it. Now, this is their older one they do make now where they have the attachments that hook on, but the overall design is pretty much the same. Uh, when you would open this one up, one, this always is kind of coming back and banging in there, so it's, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it's not too big of a deal. The major issue is your neck harness right here comes down and this hooks onto the top of your binoculars. So when you have your binoculars out, the front of this is just rocking around down here. And that is a major flaw, um, super annoying. This adjusts down, kind of slides down your chest. It never stays exactly where you wanted. And then like I said, the back Y right here uh, is comfortable. It was better than most other ones that I had tried but it's still, this is not adjustable. This stays at this exact angle, so despite the way your shoulders are designed and all that, it stays the exact same. The other main one that I've used a lot um, was Badlands. I like their magnet design where this opens up. Um, I ran my you know, spy, or my uh, range finder over here on this side, but I hated their strap, so I actually went with the Kuyu strap because this is a different one that I had, and I like that system better uh, because it ran neoprene on these back in the past. 
But the major issue with this was one, I didn't have the adjustability of being able to add pockets like this. You had to add them to these straps or add them over here and they're flopping around, they're in the way. It just wasn't a clean, good setup. And then the other thing was, I like to carry my phone and other things on me. I use my phone for Onyx hunt maps. And if you lean forward, my phone was always in this front pouch. It would pop open and I lost multiple reads that way. Uh, it just wasn't strong enough to hold the weight of a phone up here, but there was no other place to really put it. So that leads me to finding this. Uh, I was super excited when I saw that Sitka was gonna release this. I purchased it, I have it now, and this is the absolute best vinyl harness system on the market. Now I'll show you really quick. Uh, if you pop these two off of here and you come up, there's um, two pockets right here. So this one just slips in. You could put a phone or something like that in here. And you've got uh, like a heavier foam that's right in here that makes it so that uh, if you had your phone, it wouldn't get all condensated basically from your chest and it protects your optics in there from getting any condensation. And you have this tall, uh, top zipper pocket, which I keep for your scope rings, a little tool just in case those come loose somehow and my hunting license. Uh, that way those are protected. They're not going anywhere. I know I've always got them with me because no matter what, this is always, uh, this always comes with me. I keep my binoculars. So rather I'm just going out to shoot for fun, um, you know, or whatever I'm doing, this is always on me. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll get right back to you with an answer on you know, whatever you're wondering. If there's other products that you'd like me to try and get my hands on and do a review of, uh, please leave those down in the comments as well and I'll do my best to get them. Thank you for watching.